Hi my love, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different than I usually do. So you know that usually I try to do all different types of pores for you guys, different mediums, different surfaces, canvases, wood. I like to teach you guys and show you guys different things to inspire you guys. So sometimes I get inspired by other artists. So there is this amazing artist, her handle is Messy Ever After. So I learned this technique from her. What she does is she gets this amazing um, fine tip applicator. So I got these off of Amazon, guys. I think two of them were like $6 or something. So just Google or um, search on Amazon fine tip applicator and you'll find these. So what they are, little bottles where it has a little applicator, it's very, very fine. And what she does is she pours in a very unique way and then once she pushes her paint around and all her cells are formed and everything, she goes ahead and uses it to add detail to her painting. So I got inspired by her. I got a couple of these, so I'm going to incorporate this into my own style of pouring and designing my artwork. So that's what I'm going to be doing today in this video. So what I've done, guys, in the bottle, I've added my Deco Art Dazzling Metallics, my favorite gold, to add a little bit of more shimmer and detail into this beautiful piece that I made just a few days ago. Um, so that's it. So all I did was, guys, added a little bit of a paint, and this paint is already very fluid. So all I did was add, I added a little bit of my flow troll in there just to give it a little bit extra flow, and I added a touch of water just so it nice and smooth for me. So that's all I did in here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of detail into, I think, this area. We'll see kind of what comes out of my hands, but that's it, guys. So here we go.
Okay guys, that's it. So this is just a really quick, really easy technique. All I basically did was use my little applicator and kind of just followed kind of naturally the lines and like the, the cells and the form of the paint and how it dries. So it just adds a little bit of a detail. So once this is dry, I am going to add resin onto it. So I love how these came out. It just a little bit of an extra oomph to it, a little bit of shininess, just something to give it a little bit more sparkle. So that's it guys, so I hope you guys learned, I, goes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up for this video and I will talk to you guys soon.